Hello heroes, it's Dr. Zaino with 15 Minute Fuel, which is in 15 minutes a day. We're going to fuel, fuel your mind, your body, and your future. Well, welcome today. Always great seeing you guys. And for those of you that are listening on SoundCloud and, and Stitcher and, and uh, iTunes, thank you so much. Uh, we Are Heroes, episode 47 is live right now. Uh, again, there are always good episodes. They're only slightly, slightly different. We had a lot of good uh, talk about overwhelming and worrying about making that right decision that every decision is the right decision. I know it sounds weird, but in the macro, it always is, you know, in the moment it doesn't feel like it, but I just think even if you make the bad decision over time, you learn something and it almost becomes a blessing. Well, it does become a blessing. So just check that out. Uh, make sure you share it and comment and we appreciate it. All right, today I'm going to talk about, I'm about to hop on a plane here, uh, but today let's talk about when going for the win or when you, go, when, you, when you start to go towards your goal, when things get tough, you know, when you wake up and you just are not, you're not there, you know, you're, uh, you're just off, right? You feel, la you feel lazy, you feel crappy, your, your secret identity is telling you maybe this was a bad idea or, you know, is it even worth it? All those stuff, you know, all, all, all the stuff you do, like it's, number one, as you're going through the journey, it, it, number one, the first thing you want to do is, understand that that feeling is going to happen. No one's going to wake up happy, excited every single day and not hit those walls. Because that's, I think what happens as, as, you're, as you're climbing, as you're reaching your goals, that comfort part of you or that secret identity, it's challenging you. Or if, that, or, or if your inner talk isn't challenging you, somebody in your life will challenge you, right? Someone at work or someone in your family or there's a situation and you know, you get thrown off. You have a, a funk, funky day, maybe a funky week. It just, that's part of it. And when you realize, hey, that is part of it, you know, because I always talk about the, the two sides of the coin. Everything is two sides of the coin. You know, if I took a magnet, a magnet have a, has a positive and a negative charge, right? If I broke the magnet in half, you still have a what? A positive and negative charge. Like, so there's always two sides of the coin. You can't just take one side. I can't just choose the positive part of the magnet. I can't cho just choose the heads part of the coin. I got to take it all. And, and, and instead of, you know, feeling like you're getting defeated or having those bad moments, understand, hey, this is just part of it. I'm having one of those moments. And understand that time, time, like this time, those things go away. They melt as long as you keep on going the forward direction. Now, it's not the circumstances. It's how you respond to it. So let's say, you know, you had the discouragement. You had the hit. You took a couple hits and you stayed there and you didn't move forward. Then you're going to stay there and then you're going to go back. But I'd be like, hey, listen, yeah, you know, I questioned myself the other day, you know, was this even worth it? You know, um, should I just go back to what I was doing? Should I even pursue this dream I have? Or is this dream um, unrealistic? Is it irrational? You know, it'd just be so much easier just to keep on doing what I know I'm really good at. You know, that type of talk, you know, but, you know, it's okay to have those feelings, embrace them. Ask, well, what, what is my body trying to tell me? What, what are these people's, what are other people's opinion telling me about but you still move forward and they melt away, just like an ice cube in a lake, all right? That's how it works, but you gotta get through them. And you know, when it comes to making decisions and you say, well, maybe I made a bad decision, let time let you know that. Keep moving forward. Because I don't want you to pull out uh, just when you, just like the guy digging for the gold, right? You know, so you're dig he's digging, 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 and then he said, then all those things come in his head. Well, I came this far, I, inv I invested so much money, I worked so hard, you know, I think I gave enough effort into this. Maybe I should turn around and go. And how about if he was just like a half a foot away from reaching goal? So that's why we use the word until. So the thing is, I, if you're, you know, if, I know some of you, you are going through some, uh, I don't want to say dark moments. You're going through questions. You're questioning your forward progress. You're questioning if it's for the right reasons, or if you're making the right decisions. And basically what I tell you guys is it's all part of it, you know, so let time to let you know it was the right or wrong decision and it will time definitely lets you know. So keep moving, but you got to keep on moving forward. Don't stay stuck and understand it's okay. You know, you should, uh, you wouldn't be human you, and, and we wouldn't be, you know, we wouldn't be growing as individuals if we weren't constantly being tested. Uh, and the biggest test is you testing yourself, the old you trying to fight for its secret identity. So the hero you cannot thrive and, 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 and fly, so to speak. And then you have those people in your life, the people in your life that were used to the old secret identity you, right? So this was your crew. 
right? This was the people in your life that were used to you like this. So now as you start to do this, this crew over here doesn't like that. Come on, what are you doing? You're wasting your time. It's just, a, you're just thinking irrationally because it's not that they want the best for you. They may say they want the best for you. Think realistic. They just want you to come down right here and stay and stay comfortable. But as you move up, these people, some of these people don't like it. They don't support it or they can't see it. We did a show a while ago saying that your vision that God has given you, your dream, your goal is really for you. And you have to have some of that, so be careful who you speak that to because that vision and that idea, that purpose is for you. It wasn't for anybody else, so it's for you to go and do. And those people, you know, as long as you feel strong about it and it means a lot to you, remember the brain only knows what it could lose. Your brain doesn't realize what you could gain. So as long as you can keep on the vision and stay focused on what you can gain in a good way, of course, like, you know, gain, reaching your purpose, helping more people, whatever that is in your life, happiness, joy. As long as you focused on what you can gain and not what you're going to lose, and all those other people can say whatever they want, but you're like you're gonna you're gonna get to the point. You're like I'd rather take the risk of moving forward than feel the, the the comfort and the torment of not knowing what my life could have been if I gave it a fair shot. And so that's why you'll always have these ups and downs. So when you have the wins, you're gonna have elation, right? So when you're elated, you won, you get excited, and there's some days. Let me tell you, the higher you go, boom. You could have a, a day just as down like that, but this is all part of the, the process going forward. So some of the things uh, that I would recommend and I do, if it's a procedural thing, let's say it's eating, right? Let's go back to eating, something less emotional. Well, it could be emotional for, for some, but let's say it's getting your meals or exercising. You know, waking up in the morning is never going to feel good. Four in the morning is still four in the morning or whatever you get up. But I know it's like when you get on the treadmill, it's kind of boring. So gamify it. I always talk about gamifying things. Make a game out of things. So when you get on the treadmill, that's time I could watch movies or I could listen to music or I could, you know, I, I just make something fun out of it. You know, I, 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 in my mind, I have like different times. I do different things on the treadmill or I listen to different stuff. So just, just make some type of game or routine of it. If it's eating, you know, let's say you, uh, you ate good all week, all right? So let's say you, you got six days, you ate really well. Then reward yourself with something, not food-related, because you don't want to sabotage. You don't want your reward to be something sabotaging yourself, especially if it's food or eating. Why don't you go and get shopping and, and get yourself a little something that you really always wanted? So your reward is something that you would like, so, but it's not in, in a, let's say, a food. So maybe it's an outfit. Maybe it's a... Maybe it's a, a technology thing you want to do. Maybe it was a book. Maybe it's a movie. But do something that's a reward. All right? So you're rewarding yourself for doing well in a way. So you just I, I try to make a game out of everything. You know, I was just, before I got on here, I just wanted to make sure I had uh, the reference right. Have you ever looked uh, at Viktor Frankl? He has a book called, uh, what crap, you know, something. I totally forgot. Well, Viktor Frankl, look that up. He did, uh, he wrote a book, The Meaning of Life, One's Meaning of Life or something like that where he was in a concentration camp and he literally made a game at everybody died around him and his thing was like saying no matter what is brought to you it's how you respond to that situation how can you like man man search for life that was it right man search for life so this is where in that in that concert yeah man search for meaning thank you Leticia man search for meaning so in that concentration camp his pregnant wife died everybody around him died but he always was looking, and, I, and this, this is the reason why I'm using this example, because none of us are going to ever have it this bad. He used, he tried to find something good or gamify something in that aspect for him to get through. And you know what? If it just gets you another day through, that might be the day you have your breakthrough. You follow what I'm saying? So he just, he was able to see something. I don't even know how he did it when you look at the book and what he went through and when he's seeing his people he loved die around him. But he kept on, and it wasn't a positive attitude. It was the book was not about having a positive attitude. It was in this moment. What what was his what was he envisioning? Was he envisioning I'm going to get out of this and then I'll be able to write a book and I'll be able to do these things. I'll be able to teach other people or or like you know what's this meaning? What is this teaching me in my life? It was just really amazing how you know now now bring it to a much lighter level like taking care of your body or or any goal you want to have like gamify it. So when things feel uncomfortable. Of course they're uncomfortable and you don't want to do it because it's something different and it's moving you towards your goal out of your comfort zone. But if you could gamify it, if you could make it fun, if you could give rewards to it. Um, Mary Kay, remember Mary Kay? Uh, I mean, come on, the pink, we have Mary Kay Cosmetics. So Mary Kay did this. She would wake up 
and she would always have, what are the six most important things I need to do today? Six or seven, not much. And at the end of the night, when she got those things done, she would reward herself with a bath and a glass of wine. That was her reward every night for doing the, the, the six things that she needed to do. So she made a game out of it, right? And, and she probably was drinking wine every single night. So this is something where when you, when you look at those things in your life to make things easier, no, it, it, you know what it is? It's just going to get you through the tough times. It's going to get you through the whiny times. It's going to get you through the times where you're insecure, you're sad. Is this worth it? What am I doing? All that talk. I get that. We all get that. It just gets you through those times by making things fun or looking in the meaning for this. Why am I feeling this way? Is it because, or why did someone say that to me? Well, because this person knew the old me. This person doesn't accept the new me that I, that's rising, the hero that's rising out of me. And that's okay because it's not your problem. It's their problem. And as long as you just keep on focus and you keep moving forward, you don't sit down because if you sit, you're done. You just keep moving forward, embrace the feeling. I think, I think understand your feelings is tremendously one of the greatest things you could do. Acknowledge the anger. Acknowledge the sadness. Um, don't fight it. And say what, and just say, listen, why am I feeling this way? And just learn. Actually, this is a great time to learn about yourself. And then in that meaning, say, so, so why am I sad? Well, because, wow, I really, I, it really matters what that person thinks about me. And you just start to learn yourself in different ways. And so as you grow in your goals and winning in life, you also grow as a human being. So this is something where you want to definitely step into the unknown. And in the unknowns, you're going to have to enjoy all the feelings that come. But remember, we're human beings. We're, we've been blessed with all those wonderful emotions. The only people that are going to be smiling through the whole time is people on Prozac and mind-altering medications, which they never went anyway because the thing is they were never, they, they, they were never able to fully express their, their true self. So emotions are human. You know, they, We have those for a reason and embrace them and know that as long as you keep stepping forward, they're going to pass. They always pass. They always will 100% of the time. But if you sit in them, they'll stay there longer. So if you enjoyed today, make sure you uh, comment and check out uh, episode 47. And I'm going to go say hello to a couple people here. Let's see. Nick, good to see you. Ginger. Ginger, she's all into my reverse bullseye theory. <laughs> hey, Nick. Good to see you, buddy. Mind, body, and future. Good to see you, Chad. Hey, George. Hey, Pete. Yes. Hey, Carly. Good to see you. Ashley Ashna, good to see you. I'll see you soon. I can't wait to see you guys in August for the go. What's up, Ryan? Hey, Cody. Hey, Michelle, good to see you. I haven't seen you in the office. Well, I've been in and out. Hey, Jen. I love Jen. She goes, keep moving toward through the uncomfortable times, of course. Hey, Mr. Tabor. Hey, Leticia. Thanks for helping out with the book name. Randy Russo. You got it, Randy. Glad you're doing great. Hey, Cody. Let's see. Jocko Carver. Um, let me see. A man search for me. Good. Um, Rob Neuenschwander. Good. Pete. Let's say Pete said this. Solid info because when you're stepping out of... Uh, out into the unknown, you have the ups and downs, and at times you question what you're doing. Should I just go back to doing what I'm good at? Yeah, see, the thing is, you know, that's the thing. It's the, like I always say, it's the comfort and the torment of staying comfortable. Mr. Dean, Letitia, good to see you. Hey, Ben. Hey, Randy, medications don't help in the wrong. They don't, Randy. You know that, man. Jason, keep charging. You know, my brother, Dean Peters just got on and got a rewatch. You bet. Well, appreciate you guys for everything you've done. Have an amazing Wednesday. All right, please, uh, you know, uh, direct message me. You know, you could get a hold of me. I always ask you guys to, and you would think my inbox is full. It's really not. And uh, for any of you guys, when you do inbox me, I get, you know, I get with you right away. So any questions you want to have, you're not bothering me. It actually, uh, it fulfills a human need for me. So you're, you're blessing me by reaching out. So just uh, direct message me, uh, you know, on Facebook or wherever you're watching this or wherever you're hearing this. I'll get back with you as soon as possible. I'll give it with like an hour and uh, we'll work through whatever you're working through. You know, everything's confidential, of course. And again, have an amazing day. Watch episode 47. I'll see you guys tomorrow with Whitney from Colorado Springs. God bless.